Hi, welcome to this uh, brand new tutorial. Today we'll continue with our series and now we see how to request and share screen or windows in WebRTC together with Angular and in order to implement these uh, functionalities here uh, I will go here first <coughs> to the documentations and uh, yeah, here is uh, the documentations and what uh, the functions that we are going to use here is to get media as you have seen here how to use a screen capture API and it's uh, get display media method to capture part or all of a screen for streaming, recording or sharing during a web RTC conference sessions. So that's it all. This is the method and like get user media that allow us to uh, get access to the microphone and camera. This one allow us to share the screen. So this is the main method that uh, we use here. And um, of course, uh, these are some sample snippet. And uh, here is a bit the interface how you see once you invoke, uh, when we invoke that method, you will be able to share the entire screen, application windows or tabs or whatever, and then we just put it there. So uh, if we still go down here, we might have some display options, like sharing the video and the audio, and uh, we can even customize it further with display media options like here uh, surface switching uh, self uh, browser surface exclude this one will allow just like if we share and we see on screen that is a reflections of screen sharing at infinity so you can make it an infinite windows if we set this one to include that's why we exclude that one and uh, yeah so, so many things are there in the documentations that uh, we can use. Uh, so many things are there. <coughs> you can see this uh, demonstrations here, what we get here. We have, so, so I can cancel this one and then stop the capture. That was just a simple snip. Uh, demo demo uh, applications so yeah that is it and now let's go to uh, let's go now to we are going to use something like this one and let's go to our code now and try to implement that so in order to implement that here uh, we first stop this one Okay, then now uh, we need to go to our service, or we start from there. And in the service here, we have this request media access, which use uh, user media to get access to the camera and microphones. Now, instead of that one, uh, we are going to use a similar uh, concept. I will just copy this uh, method here and this one uh, I will just say request screen request screen share and then uh, this one here we have no constraint for now and uh, uh, it return also a stream and then a width that one and then we get uh, get display media uh, this is what we get and uh, okay for this one I I pass uh, we can pass uh, the constraint directly this one and set the video to true. 
so that one and then if it's true then uh, access is granted else yeah access to access to screen sharing deny and then we return false so this is uh, our method here almost like uh, the previous one here screen sharing and uh, that is it here so then all that one is done we need now to come to our app components and yeah use a uh, use our service here so uh, we are here now so we do the same things here like we copy this one and then here request screen sh screen share so we request this one and then media granted away this one here we just request request screen share same as that one if uh, granted and then this video element is set then what we gonna do now is uh, to attach uh, this media service attach our screen to the stream so we just grab now our screen or whatever windows that uh, we want to share and then attach call our attach uh, media screen that we implemented before this method was already implemented here was already implemented here in the previous series uh, during when we wanted to request access to the microphones and video and then inside that one we have to pass this video element native elements then we can just lock uh, that uh, screen sharing access granted to you so screen sharing access granted and then and then uh, we stop here and uh, so we need now to implement we need now to implement uh, the button for the screen sharing so if we go here and uh, we got this button here if I just take this one and then come at the bottom here should be something like this one and uh, this ID we don't need it this one requests okay I will just copy this screen share request screen share I post it here so here you just write screen share so here is the screen share and then 
uh, all that one is done, we need now to come to uh, let's do something here. We can just come here inside uh, the video container and then paste it here. So we'll make we'll need a one boolean. So this is the area where we plan to show our screen like in the video. So we are going to take our screen and all the movement and embed it as a video. It will be yeah, shown as a video to all users. Yeah, so we see all the movement live. So we are going to see the live screen sharing in this area here. So that's what here we might need here to uh, boolean. And then uh, here is uh, this one arrow here. Here is that, and then if we come. Um, We set this one to false. By default, screen sharing is false. And then, once it's granted here, we are going to set that this screen sharing equal true. S uh, Screen sharing is equal to, but and uh, for the video, and we keep this one. Oh, uh, if we just take the same concept and add here and modify this one then here you are going to okay whatever we leave this one here and uh, let's focus here on this method first so we keep this one is okay now. Then uh, we have to come back now to our live screen. Okay. And uh, this one, we can just uh, we can just comment this one for now, and 
Okay, we have one area now to share both of them and then so we have our screen share this is here and then what happened when we request that so we can see here is requesting asking you okay what do you want to share so you want to share this window so Thailand is German for you can see here that uh, this one has been shared so you can see here the, the screen the windows has been shared this one but because it's not alive um, we have only one user here then once we uh, attach uh, uh, the logic for the remote uh, clients both sides then we'll be able to see this one in full but at least you see the overview how this one might look like so then now we can release it now it's in German now sorry so we can release the screen now it's gone so I hope that this one is useful and then yeah stay tuned for the next tutorial bye